AEW to air backstage CM Punk all-in footage. Details on the Rock's in-ring wrestling future, WWE planning to bring back the King and Queen of the Ring tournaments, and there's a major update on Brock Lesnar's current WWE status. Hello and welcome to the Solo Sunday News here with myself, Andrew Pollard at What Culture Wrestling. I hope you're good. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed WrestleMania if you watch WrestleMania. I hope you enjoyed Collision if you watch Collision. I hope you've been enjoying all of the wrestling over these past few days. Firstly, if you've tuned into any of these solo news in the, 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 the week, a few days ago, you'll have noticed that I've got the raspy voice. It's still lingering around, so apologies for that. If you want lots of WrestleMania fallout, the lads over in Philly have already got you covered on that. Go and find that elsewhere on the channel in what went down for WrestleMania 40 night one. But here we're going to focus on a few other stories rather than just double dipping on these same stuff. So let's start things off with, well, big news for, uh, well, the wrestling world because AEW plans to air footage of what went down between Jack Perry and CM Punk at All In Wembley Stadium last year. Yes, if you've seen last night's All, All? Last night's AEW Collision, there was a graphic that promised that the Young Bucks will be airing that footage on Dynamite this coming Wednesday and that they'll be discussing the issue for the very, very first time. Of course, that issue was. It was the fight between Punk and Perry that led to CM Punk being fired by AEW, of course. And also, Jack Perry, he's not been seen since, in AEW at least. He has resurfaced in, in New Japan Pro Wrestling this year, has joined House of Torture, and he's doing okay for himself over there at the moment, to be honest. Um, but yes, per Fightful Select, those who the outlet have spoken to in AEW say that this is not some sort of bait and switch, and that the footage of the very real altercation between CM Punk and Jack Perry is expected to air on Dynamite. Uh, specifically, it was stated to Fightful that AEW is not not going to falsely promote something. Uh, there's said to be no legal issues preventing AEW from airing this footage. Um, so yeah, this is going to be quite the made for quite the interesting discussion because obviously CM Punk uh, last week joined Ariel Hawani on the MMA Hour where he, uh, in the typical CM Punk way, went very scorched earth, gave his side of what went down, uh, well, at all in, but just general with his whole run in AEW for the most part, the stuff he was allowed to speak to about anyway. One other AEW source said that they'd be surprised if FTR, who are close friends of CM Punk's and are set to face the Young Bucks at AEW Dynasty for the vacant tag team titles. Uh, yeah, it, one source said to, to Fightful that they'd be surprised if FTR uh, weren't given a heads up on all of this. Uh, at this stage, though, the footage hasn't been made available internally to anyone who Fightful has spoken to. But yes, this is um, this certainly makes a dent in the uh, the news coverage this morning, where obviously normally you'd be expecting lots of WrestleMania fallout. Then all of a sudden, AEW are like, yeah, you know that CM Punk and Jack Perry fight that everybody wanted to see and nobody was ever going to see. Yeah, we're, we're just going to throw that out on Wednesday for you. So that that is definitely an attention grabbing news headline. Um, right, if you did watch WrestleMania. Chances are you were probably pretty impressed by The Rock. Uh, and The Rock himself has addressed his in-ring future and whether there's a chance he may wrestle again. Now, that the main event of night one of WrestleMania, I mean, spoilers, there you've got like a five second warning. Five, four, three, two. Yes, the main event of night one of WrestleMania 40 saw The Rock pin at Cody Rhodes to make tomorrow night's match between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns a bloodline rules match. Now the match itself went 45 minutes. It went all over the arena. There was a lot of, um, Smoke and mirrors, I guess. Uh, and and obviously, The Rock was in there with two absolute bumping machines, workhorses in Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. But The Rock looked good. Anybody that thought, you know, is he going to break down? He did not break down. And he actually he looked decent. Obviously, yes, he's naturally a little bit slower because he's a little bit, well, he's a lot older and he's a lot bigger. There's a lot more Rock to, to move around the ring these days. But Rock looked good, man. I thought he looked decent. Uh, now, talking in the post-WrestleMania press conference, uh, Triple H had a bunch of praise for The Rock. Uh, and then The Rock himself said he felt great. He praised certain unnamed wrestlers who he flew out to help him prepare. Uh, now, this was preparation across, uh, I think on the commentary, they said it was eight weeks, I think Pat McAfee said. Uh, the Rock himself said it was 12 weeks. So, I don't know. On that one but when he was asked whether there's any more matches in the tank for the rock there might be was the answer now he also promised the unexpected and a lot of surprises for tomorrow um well for today even well he said for tomorrow but that was last night so it's for today for night two basically for the bloodline rules match uh what those surprises will be who knows but if we're looking at the Simone, Simone dynasty, man, there's so many surprises you could have. You could literally have Rikishi just pop in and give like Cody a stink face, um, which I not thought about now, but now I've said it, I totally want to see that. You, no, there was no solo Sokoa on night one. Uh, what, what's the case with Jimmy Uso, who lost to Jey Uso on night one, um, which somewhat surprised me a little bit. I was one of those where I was thinking, Jimmy kind of needs this win more. How can you do it? Maybe that's where you, you, you debut Tamatonga, who's reportedly signed with the company, but none of that happened. Jey Uso won. 
but yes, uh, Tamatonga, that's another option maybe for, for tonight. Uh, Jacob Fatu is somebody I would love to see in WWE or AEW or somewhere, anywhere on a bigger platform. Just been killing it for so many years. Um, but yes, The Rock has promised the surprises and the unexpected, so we'll have to wait and see what those are. As for his wrestling future, as mentioned, there might be more matches from The Rock. Roman Reigns and The Rock is one match already speculated for next year's WrestleMania. There's clearly a massive story, again, with a story. But there's clearly already a massive story there with The Rock and Cody Rhodes. Um, so, yeah, that's something to keep an eye on as well. Excuse me while I try not to die with this throat. It's been, oh man, it's been a rough, a, a rough old time. But we'll get through this. It's nearly done. It's nearly done. Uh, right, PW Insider is reporting that WWE is planning to bring back King and Queen of the Ring. Uh, the word doing the round backstage at WrestleMania uh, was that King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring are returning and will take place in Saudi Arabia. Now, previously, uh, it was reported that WWE was aiming to return to Saudi Arabia in May. Whether that is still the case, I mean, it looks a bit of a cram schedule already, but they could still do May, but because you've got you've got backlash in, in France on May the 4th, my birthday. Yay, so I will not be here on that. I'll be having a day off. But yes, you've got backlash on May the 4th, and then you've got Clash at the Castle on June the 15th from, from Glasgow. Is it the 15th or 14th? Either way, round there. Uh, so if you wanted to return still to Saudi Arabia in May, it, it is possible. You could still do the end of May. So we'll have to see whether that is the case. But either way, the next time WWE is back in Saudi, it will be to run the King of the Ring and the Queen of the Ring. Uh, the last show that was in Saudi Arabia was November for Crown Jewel, where LA Knight was unsuccessful in challenging Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. As for King of the Ring, uh, just, I mean, my favorite pay-per-view of all time. Uh, I, I, I say this, I, I, yeah, I am rocking my Bret Hart t-shirt, so uh, yeah, but my favorite pay-per-view of all time is King of the Ring 1993. It's just absolute perfection. Um, and obviously part of that is because Mr. Perfect's on it. Always brings perfection. Um, now, switching gears a little bit and uh, something else we, we always have to, uh, yeah, it's getting, uh, we have to address this. It's, it's an elephant in the room. Uh, Brock Lesnar, there's an update on his professional wrestling future with WWE. Now, this comes after the Wall Street Journal identified Brock Lesnar as the former UFC fighter and former WWE world champion referred to in Janelle's, Janelle Grant's lawsuit against Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis, um, for her alleging uh, sexual, emotional, and physical abuse. Uh, since then, all creative plans were dropped for Brock Lesnar. He was pulled from the Royal Rumble where he would have had the exact same spot that went to Bron Breaker, uh, which would have set up Brock versus Dominic Mysterio Elimination Chamber in Australia, because it would have been Dominic Mysterio, Dirty Dom, eliminating Brock in the Rumble. And then it would have been Brock Lesnar versus Gunther at WrestleMania, which was also pulled. Uh, and, and Brock Lesnar was also pulled as a playable character in WWE 2K24, apart from in the showcase mode, the WrestleMania showcase mode. Now, Triple H was asked about Brock Lesnar's status during the post-WrestleMania Night 1 press conference. He confirmed that Brock Lesnar is still with the company. I know some people have thought that maybe Brock uh, had either been quietly let go or maybe his contract had expired. Uh, Triple H, as he put it, was Brock is at home being Brock. We'll see where things lead from here. So Brock Lesnar still very much with WWE. Um, when they bring him back, how they bring him back, whether they bring him back, the, they're all questions that we'll have to, you know, wait and see how, how that situation develops. Uh, right, there's a couple of questions to round things off with here before I go and rest my voice for the day. Only a couple because everybody's busy because it's, it's still everybody's partying after WrestleMania, I'm sure. Uh, Kevin Randall's got in touch. Hey, Kevin. Excuse me again when my throat goes. Happy Solo Sunday, champ. Uh, happy Solo Sunday to you, Kevin. Unfortunately, I thought WrestleMania Unite 1 was mid, so I hope they bring it tomorrow. I was most disappointed by the USPS payoff. What are your thoughts? Uh, thanks for making a Sunday a fun day. Uh, thanks very much, Kevin. Hopefully it's been a, a fun day, uh, or it will be a fun day. Uh, the best for you on this Sunday. As for WrestleMania Night 1, my thoughts... Like I said, uh, Murray and Wilborn have covered it in depth over at um, Night One, what went down elsewhere on the channel, which I'm sure that video will pop up at the end of this. Uh, so my thoughts, it was it was okay. It was okay. There was obviously highs and lows. I thought that the Gunther and Sami Zayn match was really good. I, I being honest, I expected a little bit more from the, the Usos match. Uh, the tag titles match, the, the ladder match was a whole bunch of that that chaos carnage, which is quite often so much fun. One thing, I, I, I thought that the... the fundamentals of the match the spots in the match the big spots in the match were all great one thing that did slightly take me away from it and i love the elevated camera angles that they do but in that ladder match there's so many times when they do that and you can just see so many people just lying around the ring waiting waiting for their spot waiting to for the, the next bit where they choose come into the ring that was a little bit distracting but the match itself w was good i thought becky and Rhea was was really good uh, i thought the main event was better than i thought i was surprised it went quite as long i thought it'd go long but i didn't think it'd be quite as as long uh the, the six woman match was was okay uh jay cargill looked look, look good they, they're doing a good job with her um 
it was yeah to me it was it was a it was a, a decent it was a decent night one but it wasn't i don't think it was a, a great night one i am just gonna google this now because i've got a horrible feeling i may have missed a match because it, I, was, I was up at a very early time to um to uh to uh to, to watch this show because hey that's uh, how things are in the uk and we've uh, long had that one year we will get wrestlemania so yeah until then it's it's a case of getting up at silly o'clock and then uh yeah, cracking on with then. So let me just check if I've not missed any other matches. I'm sure I have. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Andrade versus Dirty Dom and Santos Escobar. Um, that was good. That was okay. There were some nice spots in there. Uh, I think, like everybody else, I kind of I was thinking it might be the Carlito uh, turn in there. I thought Andrade looked great because Andrade always looks great. Uh, just, yeah, what, what a talent that guy is. So, yeah, I thought Night One was was okay is my, my widest summarization of it um gunther sammy the best match of, of that night uh but Rhea, Rhea and becky not far behind uh i very much look forward to night two because there's a whole lot of fun on there uh so right let's get to our second question here Heather garcia the third's gone touch hey Heather. posting before wrestlemania night one and assuming damien priest doesn't cash in at the big tag match uh you'd assume post wrestlemania if drew wins they want him in a title program versus punk and potentially cody rock at summerslam in hindsight should they've had priest cash in already uh for me I mean, yeah, there, there were times where Damien Priest could have cashed in. There were times where Damien Priest maybe should have cashed in. I think you can still... I, I, I'm, I'm pulling for a Damien Priest cash in tomorrow. I mentioned it, I think it was in the week, or it might have been last weekend on one of these news videos, where I think that Drew McIntyre... The ideal scenario for me is Drew McIntyre beats Seth Rollins and injured Seth Rollins now after night one. Uh, and then, if, if at all, pray into the wrestling gods, if at all he's capable physically of doing it, You'd have CM Punk drop Drew McIntyre with the GTS. Damien Priest comes down, cashes in. That furthers the beef between CM Punk and, and Damien Priest. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, and Drew McIntyre. There's also there already been issues there between Priest and McIntyre. Part of of McIntyre's big story again with the stories is um, is that he has been robbed of that big title win at WrestleMania in front of fans. So he gets it, and it's taken away from him immediately by Damian Priest cashing in, setting up Priest and Drew for for a little run, uh, where that you could headline Clash of the Castle with that in Glasgow. Drew McIntyre gets the title back, and then by the time of SummerSlam, hopefully CM Punk's cleared. Drew McIntyre, CM Punk. Um, as for Cody and The Rock at SummerSlam, yeah, you could easily do that. It's just would they want to do that in Saudi Arabia, maybe? Would they want to hold that off for a WrestleMania? I think you could do that with SummerSlam and make that SummerSlam into a massive deal. So yeah, I think all is not lost with Damian Priest. That is if things play out like that. But but yeah, we'll see. Uh, right, that has been it for a very raspy again. Apologies for the uh, horrendous, horrendous voice. Uh, hopefully they'll be better by tomorrow because you're stuck with me again tomorrow. But yes, I've been Andrew Pollard here at What Culture Wrestling. This has been the Solo Sunday News. There'll be another video around here. It may be what went down at, at night one of WrestleMania. If so, go and check it out. Either way, if it's not, go and check it out because it'll be more fantastic content. You have a great rest of your Sunday and I'll catch you tomorrow.